We are back with another news video for AQ3D. I will also be mentioning something about AQ Worlds Mobile. If you guys have been wanting to try out the PVP on the PTR and you have an Android device, good news. You will now be able to try out the PVP, the 5v5, if you weren't sure what I was talking about. If you don't know how to access the PTR on mobile, I do have a video on that. I'll put a link in the top right corner. The link to the PTR for Android will be in the pinned comment on this video. When you get into the PTR, run over to Tweely and then you can simply join the queue. This will put you into a queue with 10 other people. And when there are 10 other people, you'll be launched into the game. I did try to play some rounds last night. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to because I kept getting huge lag spikes and then getting disconnected, which was very annoying because then I had the vicious circle of death, which is connecting and it just stayed that way. The team did some updates on the PVP to improve it. So changing your classes in the PVP no longer heals you. They've adjusted some of the map visuals, which I wasn't able to see, sadly. The PVP spells have gone through some adjustments as well. All PVP spells can now be cast off of the GCD, the global cooldown. Apparently now when you use block, it's going to be preventing any form of movement. Now your refresh is much better now because it gives you your mana back or well, they call it resource, I guess, because not everything uses mana. And this bumps it right up to 100%. The Swift cast has had a cast speed bonus up to 90% and the duration is now 8 seconds which makes it a little bit better some of the classes have had nice improvements as well the warrior rogue healer ranger paladin dragon slayer and pirate if you guys know dage the evil then you know that he's all about the legion however his most recent creation which we got a snippet of right here this is very interesting. What does this look like to you? Dej wrote, final clue to the theme of the new set before the reveal. And some people were saying Nogath Nation themed. And this person asked if there were gonna be multiple weapons, which he said there will be multiple weapons. As you can see, he never denied the fact that it was Nogath nation so does it mean we're going to be getting a nation is nation actually going to be supported in this now another thing was what arctic said arctic said this is going to expose the next saga after san c so does that mean the nation is finally coming to aq3d now i actually did make a mention of the nation having some representation. Someone else also mentioned having nation content. Wow. And a lot of other people were also making mention of Nogath because very clearly this is going to be some form of Nogath thing. If it isn't, then I will be sorely disappointed. This is the gun that's going to be coming with it. This is a really good looking gun. Now you can see hints of red in it. So again, that just makes me lean even closer to Nogath. But I gotta admit, this set looks so amazing. Now, this is apparently going to be part of the Pirate Collection 2021. This is a set that's going to be coming to that probably next week. Okay, actually, I am wrong. Dej posted said he that the preview of the new Pirate Armor is going to be added to the collection either later today, which was yesterday, or tomorrow, which is today, because I'm in the future. Briefly touching on AQ World's mobile or AQ2D, whatever you want to call it, Arctic's had made a small tweet about it saying that last week was pretty big for it. They have a new foundation which eradicated a lot of bugs and the characters are looking really nice. Plus momentum on the new dialogue cutscene system. It's a whole new system than what we've ever experienced. And this is the screenshot that we get to see. And as you see, the characters really do look amazing. I can't wait to show you guys more AQ2D content. Throughout the filming of this video, I've been sitting AFK in the PTR, hoping other people were gonna join the thing so I could get some kind of footage of the new 
update in the PTR. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to. So now with the Android model being out and hopefully with more of you guys jumping in, we'll be able to do more tests on the PTR and really get this PVP polished nicely. But that is it for this video. I want to give a big shout out to all of my Raven Squad members for all the support that they show me and a big thanks to all of you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.